Here's my roommate Bruce. He wants to talk to you about religion delusion. Ah, religious delusions. My Zeus is greater than your Jupiter. No, my Jupiter is greater than your Zeus. And they really believed in those gods. And Theodore Herzl, an atheist, and the father of Zionism, searched Argentina for a homeland and southern Africa. So the homeland didn't have to be in Palestine, but assistance from an empire seems to have done the trick. And having an empire for an ally overrode being true to the original idea, a land without people for a people without a land. So now the story is, God gave this land to me. Never mind that you weren't here thousands of years ago. Einstein said, we are not the Jews of the Maccabee period. And I, a mere mortal, can see the lack of wisdom of choosing one group of people as superior to another group, apartheid. Surely a wise God could see the wisdom of loving all people on an equal basis to avoid jealousy and resentment. Wouldn't a God worth the name want to have a peaceful world? This mortal, if he had a magic wand, would make the world happy, healthy, and peaceful. Why wouldn't a God do the same? Why have, why have all this greed, colonialism, theft, mass murder? Ask questions. Think for yourself. From my roommate, Bruce. Yeah, that's the kind of love I want to I practice and teach and learn again and again. Agape love. Yeah. If, we have a, if we keep on having a world and or a country based on conditional favor, yeah, it won't work. You know, and uh, boy, an idea of a country just for Jews, well, there, there were Jews living in Palestine, mm -hmm. living with Christians, with Muslims, with maybe with atheists. Yeah, and, probably uh, some atheists. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, that it sounds like, you know, one-upping. Yeah, they, they got along, the different religions got along. Uh, pretty well for hundreds of years before Zionism uh, was was formed, and so, so when they uh, the Zionists started uh, bringing people in, uh, the, the Palestinians uh, wanted to keep that that peace, but the um, but the uh, imperialists, the the colonialists, um, the the Zionists. They wanted they, to one up. They, they, they didn't want to be a minority like the, the Jews had been for, for centuries there, even though, things, even though they got along well. And they got along much better than in World War II with the Nazis. Yeah. My God, there was no death, there and, was no blood. And, better, and certainly better Torture. than this, uh, yeah. is this uh, fighting between uh, Israel and, and uh, the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. So... Um, but the uh, the early Palestinians back in the in the twentieth century, they their goal was uh, could have been based on insecurity that was not necessary. Um, they they wanted to to go in and change the demographics so they would be the majority and not a minority anymore. But that wasn't necessary. They were getting along okay. The Jews were getting along okay. Yeah. So it's, what is all this? So so the Zionists <laughs> come, come in and say, well, we've got to be a majority. So they start loading, oh. loading up the, the country with, with, with Jews from around the world. And that that might have been okay to, to some extent. But, but uh, then they got into uh, criminal and, and terrorist things with the, with the, the terror gangs. Pagana and Ergun and the Stern Gang. Uh, so if you want to look, look look up some terrorism, look them up. Yeah. Because that that got started in the 20th century, and you that want really terrorism? that really got got things going mm -hmm. on a bad foot. And uh, they they might have gotten along okay if if there had been better behavior, but uh, uh, taking people's homes and, and uh, cutting down their orchards and and dumping concrete into their wells, uh, oh. that, that kind of stuff. Uh, that is brutal. So that, that, that doesn't create a peaceful situation. No, it creates and if you want a, a, tension and conflict and resentment. Mm -hmm. and 
yeah. anger and terror. Yeah. And, and wasn't the wasn't the original goal to, to have a safe haven for for the Jews? Do you create a safe haven by by shitting on your neighbors? Of course no, not. That's not that's stupid. So so what's going on here? That's, yeah. That's. Yeah, I, I I love Jesus, and I, you know, he I think he was Palestinian. Yes. Yeah, and before all this mess, and he was a Jew. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, when he when he uh, when he mentioned being king of the Jews, he. He kind of it, maybe it was a maybe it was a joke or something. I don't know. My king is not my kingdom is not of this world. I mean, not for sure goodness, to make it out, yeah. That he was like uh, he was talking about. He was. I think he was imagining a world. You know, a, a community or a kingdom or something that he talked about an upside down kingdom, hmm. like starting from the bottom. Okay. And if we if we really did live under under him. You know, if we had a world that could be under him, we would be, we would be, uh, we would be blessed. Sounds, we're poor. Sounds, sounds like democracy uh, instead of top down. Uh, I mean, this Israeli stuff. Have, bottom, bottom up. This Israeli, oh glory be, is like is like the opposite of what Jesus even uh, wanted, and what he thought God wanted. Yeah, you know, an I upside don't down think, kingdom. Yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, Jesus would approve of uh, no way. one one nation moving in on another and taking all the land. And, I mean, the highest and love, subjecting them to yeah. apartheid and the highest and, and, and now yeah. genocide. The highest love that that what many people call Lord, you know, Jesus, you know, is uh, agape and uh, pity even and. Uh, the the sin you know one of the sins he he died for was this kind of oppression this kind of uh, greed you know like I'm entitled you know give the land to me I mean mm. if he were still around he he would have died a second time <laughs> I know but, it yeah. you know he he would he would have shed his blood for for that horrible you yeah. know like let me pay for this and let me pay for you know all this pain that's being inflicted. Yeah. Right now, I wonder who would have who, who in in this time would would uh, crucify him, the United States or Israel? Uh, they would probably fight over it. There might be a, a whole crusade over it, no, and more bloodshed. And Jesus no, would probably say, him. "Stop no, it!" I get to kill him. <laughs> and was, and they would say, "Stop it! Stop it!" He'd probably say, "Stop it!" You know, you can both you can both kill me. <laughs> you know, one side of the cross here and the other side of the cross there. Go ahead. One one guy can nail me and the other guy can nail me. Excuse my blasphemy, you guys. I'm ex exercising freedom of speech, and it's better than lot, many of the people on YouTube. That's why I disable comments. <laughs> so, anyway. And we both like Jesus. Uh, I, I, I don't believe in the magical stuff. I don't believe in a God. I don't but either. I do like, like Jesus. I think he was a good guy. I believe in the symbolism. The symbols, you yeah. know, the symbol. I believe in the in the fable, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and I treat I, it like I, a fable. I, I was raised as a Christian, and, and I was taught to, mm -hmm. to, to respect Jewish people. Yes, because Jesus was a Jew. I was taught to respect all all of humanity, and I learned even more how to respect humanity by my own pain. I feel almost like I, I have to <laughs> take on pain. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, yeah, I I was surprised when, when I saw this movie about the historical Jesus. I um, I was surprised that that he was a Jew. And I, you know, since since I was raised since I was raised by by Christians and since I was exposed to Christians, um, I I grew up believing that the Christianity might must have come before the Jewish stuff because. There, were, there seemed to be more Christians in America around me when I was growing up than Jews, you know, until I moved to Albany, New York for two years, and almost everybody around me was Jewish. I was surprised that Jesus was Jewish. But uh, he was the best Jew I ever knew, I ever uh, <laughs> heard of. And uh, if, he, if he made, you know, if he, if he developed followers... And a belief was created 
You know, glory be. I'm just careful of some of his followers who misunderstand his message. You know, like like having to uh, abuse me in his name. <laughs> Almost kill me in his name when I was a little girl. I won't go into it. But, yeah, the, this, you know, this bloodshed. Um, there's even a store, there's even a, a camp, you know, a school of thought that uh, says, you know, God, God allowed this because he, he, lo- he loved us all so much. But um, he didn't like it. I mean, he, you know, it, according to the fable of Adam and Eve, he uh, disciplined Adam and Eve by casting them out of the Garden of Eden and uh, making them work for their, you know, because they, uh, <laughs> they were tempted by Satan, at least that, according to the story. But that's a fable. You know, for, for me, the, the fable is, you know, be careful about temptation. I have to even be careful with my own mind. You know, when my own uh, m- mind gets the better of me and I almost lose a friend... You know, I'll go into that on another episode. But, <laughs> you know, it's about temptation, really. Yeah, I I treat the... I give the Bible a lot of poetic license. <laughs> but I know that uh, killing all these Muslims and all these uh, Palestinians is wrong. And having Israel one up, you know, and play play tag with, them, with the United States and say... You know, and fighting over who to kill first. That is just so sick. Well, thank you for your comment on yeah. YouTube. Thanks for letting me let's speak it out there. Yeah, no problem. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, no Ku Klux Klan behavior, no one-upping. We're all important. And so our opinions are like birthdays. Everyone has one. Not everybody wants to celebrate everybody's birthday, but they do exist. Okay. Be safe, everyone. Peace. You are listening to My Ideals Church of Universal Ethics by Sarah Etoile.